Hello everyone, today I will show you how to move the platforms up or down with mouse or on mobile with touch. So first let's create a movement script, call it move platform or however you like. Double click to open it. So for the movements we will use the do twin library. You can find it in the description down. Let's create a static uh, instance variable. And with this one you would be able to call the script without referencing. So it's kind of singleton call. More info about singletons in another tutorial or you can find a lot of them I will not cover this right now ok the next parameter twin duration can be used to uh, handle the speed of the movement of the platform or up and down we will cover this later now let's put a reference to the current platform this will be later used in the collision script of the player. So each time you collide with uh, with the player with one of the platforms, you will then set this parameter or set this transform here to know which platform is the current one and to be able to move it up or down later. Then. Okay, now let's define some parameters which we will use later in the calculation of the movement or swipe direction okay now first thing maybe what we should do is the set the instance variable in the awake method so we can access it then from anywhere so next will be the ena uh, where we will define in which direction we are swiping so up down or not set at all or unknown So the start method, um, in, no, we do not need it here, so we can remove it. Okay, now well, let's move to the update method. Here is the mobile in input, which we will handle. So we are first checking if any touch is happening at all, so if we recognize one touch on the screen we will track the movements okay now let's get the touch phase so that we know in which state we are currently so first when you first time touch the screen you are in the begin phase and then if you are moving the finger you are in the moved and if you release the finger again it's ended Okay, I have forgot to define a enum variable to be able to use it. So we will save also the current direction or set it to unknown at the beginning. Save the position of the touch.
Okay, now in the movement. So let's say touch and hold face. When you swipe your finger around, holding it and swiping, we will calculate the direction if you are swiping up or down. And also based on that, we will set the correct enum value. Okay, now when we release our finger, we will execute the movement and move up or down based on our input. Okay, let's do this. So because we are using the twin, we can use predefined method to move the transform in the axis we need. So here I do it hard coded, but of course you can put a parameter in in the header to be able to you know change this variable from the outside from the inspector. But in this case I would always want to move one up or one down so it's fine for that. Yeah, okay, maybe here one check to be safe. So if we do not set the current platform, we will do nothing here. Yeah. Okay, let's now create an empty game object and attach the script to it and test it out if it works or not. Okay, before testing it out, we need to go to the player, to the collision script, go, yeah, find the collision. And there, if we collide with the ground, we want to set the current platform. So the ground platform to be the current platform in our script. So because we have specified the M instance variable we can now refer to it and call the script directly and call our parameter current platforms and set it to the one we have collided with so this that's all save go back and let's try it out
Yeah, in this case it will not work because we are only checking for touch input and touch input is only working on mobile, not on the, in the editor. So, so let's create also or cover the mo um, mouse input as well here underneath. So basically it's the same as above. So our left click would be the begin method where we need to set our state, state and save the start position. So the only difference is we are not getting it from the touch, we are getting it from the mouse. So we need to use one of the conversion methods we have on the camera to get the correct units. Here I'm referencing to camera main, but it's not really performant. Instead, it would be better to put a parameter or a reference to the camera in the header, one of the public variables and put it directly in the inspector. So it would be much faster. Yeah, let's convert it here to get the correct position. And now move to the Click and hold and just copy it again from the moved phase above. So this should be fine now. Let's try it again. We don't need to do anything because the script is already attached. So let's see. We move up. Yeah. Again. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it works. Up. Down. Okay, works fine. So if you like the template, you can find the template in the description as well. Thank you. Bye bye.